Hello, my name is Einar Lunden and I'm a cartoonist and illustrator. I've used Corel Painter as my primary tool for creating book illustrations and comics for many years. In this short video, I'm going to show you a little bit about how I go about creating a comics page in Painter. This is uh, a page from a, a graphic novel that I'm currently working on. Um, but when I start out drawing, I have a template file that looks like this that has blue lines drawn up that makes it easy for me to start drawing in panel layouts. I also have these guidelines right here that I use to help me uh, draw in or write in the hand lettering in the panels. I start out sketching in the dialogue first so that I know exactly how much room I have available for the actual drawings. I then start sketching in the characters. For sketching I use my favorite sketching brush in Painter which is the Real 2B pencil. It is an excellent pencil that imitates what a real pencil looks like on paper tremendously well. When I've sketched in the character we can jump ahead a little bit here and see what my finished pencil page might look like. I tend to draw using a very light blue color so that it's easier for me to see the black lines over the pencils when I start inking. One of the great things about drawing comics digitally in Painter is how easy it is to change and switch around the layouts. Uh, comics pages are often very detailed with lots of different things going on and if for example this character looks too big in this panel I can go in and easily change the size and move him around exactly how I want it. Like this for example. This is great for working on deadlines and things that I would otherwise on paper have to erase and redraw I can easily just change around like this. A lot of cartoonists prefer to use fonts for their uh, for the dialogue but I tend to always want to hand letter the dialogue exactly how I used to do it or more or less exactly how I used to do it on paper. I used a fine camel brush in the oils category for this and using my guidelines that I've created for this purpose. And with the brush tracking set correctly, I can for example create bold lettering just by bearing down slightly more on the stylus. I feel like this creates a more organic and interesting look to the page as opposed to a more uniform font would do. This is what the page looks like with the hand lettering all done. I am now ready to start inking. And as I said I used a fine camel brush for this. And this is where Painter really starts showing its strengths um, as I'm able to ink with lines that go from thick to thin imitating very much the way I used to ink on paper with a real sable brush. This is probably my favorite part of the process where it all kind of starts coming together.
And to skip ahead a little bit again, we can take a look at what the finished page looks like, all inked and ready. And I can zoom in and show you some of the brushwork in here with a lot of cross hatching and thick to thin lines. And it really looks like something that might have been done on paper. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing how I create comics using Corel Painter.